Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, you. You're right there. Um, do you have a photographer or videographer that you know and you're trying to get them a gift? You should probably check out this video. What's up, my friends? My name is Ken Selden, and I am here to help you find the perfect gift for the photographer or videographer in your life. If you have someone else who maybe is an Apple owner, go check out my other video, what to get an Apple owner 2020 or something like that. I'm still working on the names, but you know, go, go watch it. It's up, trust me, I put it there. This video is not sponsored by anyone. Um, if there's someone out there who wants to sponsor a video, hey, let's talk, I wanna talk to you. Go, call me, call me, call me. You know what to do. The first time on our list is the Fujifilm Mini 9 at $85. Is this the peak camera of all phenomenal photography? No. But this is a camera that you can have fun with you and your friends and have a few pictures that are just different than what you normally have. Especially today when everything that we do is digital, having a camera that can actually take some cool pictures without being digital, I like that. Up next is the Aperture RGB LED light at $90. I love Aperture lights. They are some of my favorite lights out there right now. And I love that they made a tiny compact RGB light, especially because it has magnets on it. And anything with magnets is a good thing in my book. Really, all you need is a piece of metal and boom, just stick it right to it. You get light anywhere you want. At number three, we have the wireless Wacom drawing tablet at $100. All right, so in my Apple video, I talked about how I have an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil and I absolutely love it. I use it all the time for photo editing, even for video stuff. But if you don't have an Apple tablet, try the Wacom. Wacom, why, why, I can never get their name right. I'm so sorry, guys. Don't hate me, for forgiveness, tis the season. But the Wacom drawing tablet is phenomenal for artists and for photo editors. Shot by Nina, who's been in my videos uh, quite a few times actually, absolutely loves editing with her tablet, with her pencil, using it in Photoshop and Lightroom. It is a phenomenal tool to use. And for $100 being wireless, that's a good price. Coming in at number four is the Peak Design Everyday Backpack for $290. This thing. I absolutely love this rugged monstrosity of a sexy backpack. I love my everyday backpack. It holds my MacBook, iPad, camera, uh, drone, batteries, accessories, cables, you name it, it holds it. I carry my entire studio with me on the go with my Peak Design Everyday Backpack. It comes in two sizes, the 20 liter and the 30 liter. I have the 20 liter, we tag the 30 liter down below. And the reason why is because as much as I love my 20 liter bag, every once in a while, I wish I had just a little bit more room, just a little bit more room to add some stuff to it. But it is a phenomenal bag, it holds so much and it still fits underneath an airline seat if you're taking it while you're flying. One of the best bags out there in my opinion. And there's a few good ones out there like the Peter McKinnon uh, Nomadic Bag, but this bag is my favorite. Next is the Peter McKinnon Variable ND Filter for $250. Admittedly, big Peter McKinnon fan. Uh, he's one of the first YouTubers that I really got into watching that wasn't music. And he was definitely a big inspiration for me learning more photography and videography stuff, learning how to edit in Lightroom and all that stuff. So big Peter McKinnon fan, I will always say that. But <laughs> I feel like most people will agree that his variable ND filters are some of the best ones out there. And it was a collaboration with Polar Pro who is a company that makes really good gear. We have another Peak Design product with the Travel Tripod for $350. Peak Design is another brand I am just a super big fan of. I love their stuff. I love their bag. I love their straps. A lot of their stuff. Their Travel Tripod is phenomenal. You can get it either aluminum or carbon fiber, although the carbon fiber is a little bit more than the one that I put in the description down below. It is super small, super compact. You can fit it into the everyday backpack. You can fit it into the water pouch on the everyday backpack and it is just really light but really, really sturdy and packed with features. And this thing is one of my favorite tripods out there. I highly recommend it. Go check it out. The Rhino ROV Pro Slider is number seven on this list and is $480. 
I love sliders. I used it a bit in making the Wonder Music video for Elva Melendez. It gave me some of my favorite shots in that video. The only thing I don't like about my slider is, well, actually it's two things. One, it's cheap. Two, it's not motorized. And having it motorized and controlled through an app is something that the Rhino does very well and it opens up the possibilities of different things that you can do with the slider. Another thing that the slider could be very helpful with is if you're in a situation like I'm in right now where I'm here by myself, if I wanted to get some good B-roll, I could take my camera, put it on the slider and just use my phone to control the slider to give myself some nice B-roll without having anyone to actually really have to help me with it. Next up is the DJI Mini 2 for $600. So about a year ago, DJI came out with the Mavic Mini and it was one of my favorite drones because it is so small and compact. You could just take it, grab it, throw it in your bag, head out the door and go do your stuff. There's not a lot of complexity with it. There's not a lot that you have to do. It shot, I wanna say 2.7K video. You can go up to 60 frames per second. It was a phenomenal drone. And this year, DJI came out with the Mini 2 and just really greatly improved on it. The range, the battery, brought the resolution up to 4K. Phenomenal, phenomenal drone, all while keeping that compact size, grab and go, throw in your bag and head out. This year they did some really cool stuff with the Fly More combo that they offer. You get two extra batteries, you get a battery charger, it utilizes USB-C, and you can even use it as an external power supply to charge your phone or charge your iPad, charge your drone or whatever you have that you may need to charge. You can do it off of the battery pack that comes with the DJI Mini 2. At $1,000, the Apple iPhone 12 Pro. Look, hear me out. Phenomenal phone with phenomenal cameras for both photography and videography with a whole bunch of editing apps at your disposal that could pretty much do anything you want, including Adobe apps that link up to things like Lightroom. I love my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I use it all the time, both for video and for photography when I don't have my camera on me or I don't have any of my other gear. And even sometimes when I do have my gear on me, I'll still bust this thing out and use it because it takes really good quality stuff. Also, if you do get someone an iPhone 12 Pro or an iPhone 11 Pro, check out my other video on Apple accessories to get someone who has an Apple product. All right. So, the last thing on this list is actually two things. Well then, Ken, it's not the last thing on the list. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Just, just bear with me, listen up. So the last thing on this list is a camera, obviously, because if you're going to get something for a photographer or videography, what's one of the best things that you could get them? A camera, but photography and videography are two different things. One camera that works well for one may not work the same for the other. So, I put two cameras at the end of this list, one that is really good for videography and one that's actually good for both, but I think its strengths lie more with the photography side. So let's check them out. First, we have the Sony a7S III for $3,500. Obviously, if you're a videographer and you've lived in the year 2020, you have heard about the Sony a7S III and you probably want it. I mean, this camera is pretty incredible. It shoots in 4K all the way up to 120 frames per second or at 1080 all the way up to 240 frames per second. That's insane. That is crazy. The amount of crisp slow mode that you can get out of that Oh man, I only dream about that. I mean, I love my Canon M50, but if you had to compare an M50 versus a Sony A7S III, I mean, it's not the same. If you would like to subscribe to my GoFundMe account for Sony A7S III, please don't, I'm, don't click. I'm, no, I don't, I don't have one. It's okay. And finally, the second camera that we have is the Canon R5 for $3,900. Now, in my opinion, I feel like Sony came out with the A7S III and it became the, the pinnacle of what is a video camera, while Canon took more of a uh, shove everything into one camera approach. And the Canon R5 is an incredible video camera that shoots in 4K, sometimes 8K, although there is a, a heat restriction. I don't know if they're planning on fixing that. It can go up to 120 frames per second at 1080. It's a great, great video camera, 
but it is a phenomenal photography camera with 42 pixels and all the features that they put in it for the photography side the r5 takes incredible photos and i think it would be one of my favorite cameras just for the photography alone and so it's kind of do you want the best video camera or do you want a camera that's good at both and really good at pictures so you kind of have to decide with that and then there's the whole glass thing if you're sony or you're canon you buy the sony glass for the sony the canon glass for the canon all all that stuff but two really good options for video and for photography whatever you want to do these cameras can do it they can handle it these are two of the top cameras that are out right now and are highly recommended among everyone pretty much at this point <clears throat> sorry sorry hey guys if you like this video do a few things leave a comment down below if you got any ideas for gift giving or if you want to give a few ideas of your own leave that comment down below if you like this video obviously hit the like button make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell notification icon is down below so you can be notified whenever a new video comes up and go check out the apple accessories video 2020 i gotta go get more water because i'm pretty much out peace